Hey folks, welcome back to the mountain. As you can see by my hat and the fact that I'm sitting on the sawmill, we're probably going to be cutting some lumber today. Let's get going, shall we? So before we get started cutting, I mentioned the other day about uh, lumber prices. They're still going up. We are so glad that we bought this sawmill. We bought it two years ago, more than paid for itself. Um, we're going to be working on the bunny bunker some more, and uh, we need some more lumber to continue building it. So this morning I went out, I cut down a couple hemlocks. I've discovered I really like hemlock. It's a soft wood. It cuts great. It's great to build with. It's, um, like I said, it's a softwood like pine or fir, but there's no sap to it. It's great. I love it. I also find it really interesting how, you know, different parts of the country, uh, some lumber is scarce and some's plentiful. Uh, like in the south, um, hemlock isn't real uh, plentiful. Up here in New England, it's everywhere. I've got lots of it all over the property here, so I can cut up as much as I want. Uh, hemlock and pine, I can cut up a bunch of it to build with. Um, you know, other parts of the country, they have a lot of cedar. We, I don't have any cedar here on the property. I'd love to have some, but hey, whatever. So uh, we're going to cut some more lumber today. Like I said, I cut a couple hemlocks down. Um, I've got a total of seven logs. I have no idea how many I'm going to get to or how many I'm even going to show you today. But we're going to have some fun. We're going to cut some lumber. We're going to make some sawdust. Let's get going. Before we get started, though, I got to put a new blade in the mill here. So let's go ahead and get going on that. So here's our blade. This is how I get them from Woodmiser. I buy Woodmiser blades for my mill. And then uh, I also send them out to Woodmiser to be resharpened because I get them because it, it's just cheaper to have a resharpen than buying a new blade. I'll keep this to wrap up an old blade with. First thing you got to do is uncoil the blade without cutting yourself like so. Not like so cutting, but like so uncoiling. This is a brand new blade, so we're going to go ahead and install this. Last time I ran the mill, the blade got really dull, so I took it out and put a new one in now. You've seen me do this before blades go in, you go around the, the wheels. And then we got to put it on these wheels. So always wear gloves when you're handling the blades. And if you have a helper, one person at a time touches the blade. It's too easy to get hurt. Okay, well, I have my blade on my wheels. So we'll close these up. Apply the tension on, and now what I do is I fire it up and I just spin it. Really, I'm going to fire up and let it warm up, but then I spin it for just a few seconds to make sure that the uh, the alignment's good. Let's warm it up and do that. And now I'll just check the blade, make sure it's aligned properly. And it looks really good. We got like an eighth of an inch and then the teeth sticking out from the wheels. So that's really good, just the way it's supposed to be. I like it. So we're ready to, we're ready to cut. I want to show you with this log. If you look at it, you can see how it's got kind of a bow in it. 
like that. So what we're done, we're going to cut the ends off, and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to cut the hump off on the other side. So we're cutting off the horns right now is what they call it, and then we'll, when, then we'll flip it over and we'll flatten out the other side, and then we'll be able to get some good boards out of it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started cutting. Uh, sometimes the sound of the mill, it makes... The microphone makes the mill sound really funny, like it's metal on metal. It's not. It sounds fine when I'm running it. It's just something with the video. When I uh, finish up the editing, it makes it sound weird. Uh, if it does that again, I'll just play music for you. Now we're going to roll that log 180 and we're going to get the hump off it. to get out of this lumber is some one by fours so right now I've got eight inches across here my minimum is eight inches here and down this end I'm at like 11 so I should be able to get like 20 or so 10 foot one by fours out of this so we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and get going What I have now is an 8x8 can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this in half so it'll be two 4x8s, then I'll flip it up on, side, on its side, and I'll cut my 1x4s then. So let's go ahead and cut this in half.
Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and flip these 90, because now I got two 4 by 8s. I'll go ahead and cut that. It'll be 16 1 by 4. And then the boards I took off, I can edge them down to 1 by 8, 6 by 8, uh, 1 by 8, 1 by 6, 1 by 4, whatever I need. That's what the lumber looks like right there. It's really, really nice looking lumber. So we're gonna go ahead and sticker and stack that and get another log on. Now that I have a couple logs of one by fours, cut, I got plenty. I've got like, I don't know, close to 35, 40 one by fours over there. Now I need some batten strips for the uh, bunny bunker to keep the drafts off the bunnies. So we're gonna cut this little log here into nothing but batten strips. So we got a bunch of one by fours. I got a couple one by sixes too, a one by two, a one by eight, and a whole bunch of batten strips there. So that's what we did today, and that's what we needed. So we're gonna call that enough for today. We did three logs, that's enough for today. Um, plus cutting down the trees and bucking them up and hauling them out of the woods. So that's enough for today. So if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, just hit that little subscribe button there. And uh, tell your friends and your neighbors about us. Comment on our videos. Tell us what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And as always, God bless.